I, I mean, that was what we expected the first night just because we hadn't played a game in so long. So, I mean, you know, we got in the gym, you know, we worked out the kinks and whatnot, and we played a lot better tonight defensively. And um, we were rebounding down. We did a lot better job there. And so, you know, we're taking the coaching, and, you know, we're, we're listening to what Coach Ford has to say. And, you know, we're going to keep winning if we keep listening to them. 28 minutes tonight for you. <laughs> Uh, you, you just got to be so giddy about being able to have those minutes now, not being on a restriction. And oh yeah, that's it's, it's, it, it's the best. Just like I mean, because last year you just feel like I was always coming out and whatnot, and like this year I, I got a lot more freedom, and so you know I can just play my game, I can stay in my groove, and you know I can just keep playing, and it's just it's just good to be healthy. And you, you got to be feeling great. You got to be feeling great too. I mean, I've no, I noticed some people on Twitter just mentioning, "Man, Gage looks great the way he's running," uh, just compared to last season that they remember. Just ha what, how big of a difference is it? Um, it definitely is a bigger difference. I'm a lot faster. I'm a lot lighter on my feet. So I mean, it, it has helped a lot. So you know, I mean, I just listened to my coaches tell me they said they wanted me to lose some weight, and so you know, I did what I did that and. Uh, I felt good about it, and now, uh, you know, I think everything's opening up, and I'm not really getting – not having to sit out and stuff like that, so it's all good. It seemed like when we talked to you preseason and you mentioned that it was the coach's idea, there was sort of a tinge of, like, it wasn't necessarily something I wanted to do. It was something the coaches told me to do. Now that you're kind of seeing the results from it, do you have a bit more of a positive opinion of, of that decision? <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, uh, it, it feels good. And, like, a, another part of me is lightning. Like, you know, last year I was just, like, a big dog last year. And so, I mean, it's a, it's a little bit different play style for me this year. You know, a lot more facing up. So I just got to get used to that and whatnot. But, I mean, other than that – you know, everything's just good, I guess. Monday night's uh, a little rock. That team kind of put a bad taste in your guys' mouth. You weren't able to play the game, but just uh, how important is this? Because this is kind of a different level than what you guys have seen through two games. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a very important game. We got to be locked in, uh, you know, and uh, we got to, we just got to play, keep playing the team basketball that we're playing and we'll be fine, so. What do you kind of switch there? Um, 15 minutes, the first 15 minutes of the game, you, it was kind of closer. You guys were going back and forth a little bit. Isaiah was able to get hot in those last five minutes, but just kind of what was it before and what kind of switched? Um, you know, we weren't really talking. We weren't really getting back on defense because that's at that team, they get the ball up and they get the shot up within like six seconds of the shot clock. So once we tried to, do, uh, <clears throat> once we tried to slow that down, uh, I think we did a lot better and we were just talking more. And then, you know, the middle eight, uh, I think we just like put it on in the middle eight, so that's what helped us a lot. All right, Gage, hey, congratulations on your career high tonight, and uh, we'll let you go. All right, thank you. Thanks, Gage. All right. As we mentioned, Jared Ritter will be up next. He also had a career high tonight, six three-pointers, and also a career high with three blocks. So we'll let him uh, take a seat and uh, jump right into questions. Jared, congratulations on your great game tonight. Thank you. Jared, I don't think you've had that kind of game since playing at Kickapoo. Just uh, what it mean to you to finally come out and have kind of a breakout game here? Right. Um, you know, I felt a lot more comfortable tonight, um, not having to deal with anything outside of your injuries or any of that, and just being able to focus on basketball. And um, you know, I give all the credit to my teammates for, you know, finding me when I was open. And, uh, you know, they, they try to instill all the confidence in the world with me. And from the beginning, so um, I'm just really proud to be out there. What's that mean to you? I mean, you've had this long journey, injuries and everything. You, you, it's got to kind of feel like a weight off your shoulders. Uh, just so what's, what's it mean to you? Uh, it means a lot, you know. Um, basketball's my life, so, you know, just being out there um, makes me a lot happier. And just being out there with my team, you know, it's, it's not fun sitting on the sideline knowing you can't do anything to help the team. So I'm um, just being out there and competing with the guys, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun. You talk about your team and your teammates twice there. Just I asked the same of Gage, but you two similar kind of trying to get 100% healthy into this year. For you guys both back-to-back -to, -back to be able to go for, for career nights on the same night, just how, how much does that make it a bit more special? You know, it's, it's great, you know, because um, injuries aren't fun. And, uh, you know, Gage is one of the best big men in the country, and he's a lot of fun to play with because, you know, they're, they're going to double-team him a lot. So we're going to get a lot of open shots from that. Um, so, you know, it's a lot of fun. Me and Gage put a lot of work in during the summer together and um, just being out there together, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun. What's kind of going through your head when you're feeling it right there? I mean, you get a couple shots there early in the second half and uh, you just started throwing them up and you, you just look confident, man. 
Yeah, and you know, um, I just kind of listened to my teammates and my coaches. You know, they tell me to shoot it when I'm open. So um, I was just doing that, and my shot was feeling good tonight. And they were finding me when I was open. They were going in. It was a lot of fun. And we touched, touched on that with Gage. I mean, 21 assists tonight, 19 the other night. Uh, the ball's moving, and you weren't really a part of uh, – being on the floor for a team where the ball was just kind of sticking in the hands, but I mean that's uh, getting it's finding its way to you, and you're paying some. It's paying off for you, right? You know uh, that's one of our big mottos this year is you know moving the ball. Um, everything's for the team, so um, we realize like that's what we need to do to be at our best. And we don't have an unselfish guy on this team, so uh, I mean a selfish guy on this team. So um, you know it's it's great to play with those type of guys, and um, everybody's going to get their shots. Everybody's going to you know, get what they need. So um, everybody's happy. When is the last game you've had like this? Just curious. Do you, have, do you remember the last one where you were doing this well? Man, um, you know, I, I, I'd say I had a decent game my freshman year at Valpo, um, you know, but it was nothing like that. Um, but I, I'm, I'm going to go back to senior year of high school. You know, it's been forever. So it just felt good to be out there and um, have no worries. Memories of launching half court shots against Rockbridge in the semifinals, quarterfinals, whatever. Yeah, I remember that. You know, um, we've had conversations in the locker room with the Rockbridge kids. Um, but, you know, uh, I would say that was some luck. <laughs> Coach Ford joins us now on the heels of a 94 67 home win tonight. Coach, congratulations. Thank you, Rick. Observations about tonight, what you saw? Well, I think, um, you know, we, we, we did some things well, some, some things that we, we tried to emphasize. Um, in particular, I thought we took really good care of the ball that allowed for us to get some easy buckets. Uh, you know, defensively, from a percentage standpoint, I, I think we were okay. We, we still got, we've still got a, a long way to go defensively. But um, overall, I, I like the, the growth that was shown. And um, I'm, I'm not surprised, you know, our group is, is, is very coachable and, uh, try to do what you ask, but uh, I, I still think, you know, conditioning is an issue. They, they look, they look winded in terms of game shape, but, but I think each time we go out, that'll get better. So uh, pr proud of our players. Coach, the ball's moving still uh, 21 assists tonight. The, I mean, the first two games you go 19 and 21, you only had two such games all last year. Um, you just got to be so encouraged by that already this season. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 you know, I think the game is, is I just think the game was made for the ball to move and the people to move and, and try to get easy baskets and, and um, you know, high percentage shots. And our guys are, are, are very unselfish. Uh, you can still tell they're a little uncomfortable with it, but um, hey, you, you know, you, you, you just got to keep grooving it every day. And what I like was not, you know, the last game we had 19, assists 19 turnovers today we had 21 assists on seven turnovers so our team was three to one against a fairly fast team I mean that was a fast team that we just played and uh, I was I was proud to see that ratio tonight coach you've seen the behind the scenes work that Gage Prem and Jared Ritter have both put in in order to try and get healthy and, and contribute to this team to see them both have career nights on the same night side by side just how special is that for you and for them well, I'm really happy for those guys. Um, you know, I've, I don't really say a player is a good player. Um, Gage Prim's a good player. You know, I've got a really high mark for who a good player is. Gage Prim's a really good player. And uh, he's, 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 um, he's, just, he's just really good. And, you know, inside of our program, we know what Ritter can do. Um, it just takes time, you know, it, it, it takes time and, uh, um, We've got an unbelievable amount of confidence in him, and and um, he was shot ready tonight. And you know, I'm I'm not surprised that he that he that he did it. I'm he he can make ten of those in a game. I mean, he he can do that easily, and he probably will. You bring up how good how good player that Gage Prim is. How important is it to have that other guy step up and be good? Because I mean, it seems like Gage can do this consistently. Uh, every night, just having kind of a sidekick there with like Jared or a game like Isaiah had tonight. Just how important is that for you guys? Oh, it's very important. I mean, we need all our guys to, to step up and play well. Uh, Mosley's really good. He's, he's just, you know, he's a sophomore, but but he's really good. 
you know, I think he had another good game per minute tonight. And um, I, I thought that uh, he was one of the best freshmen in our league last year. I know he didn't get many accolades, but uh, I wouldn't trade Isaiah Mosley for any sophomore in our league. I don't even know who, who, who they all are, but um, Jamonte Black can make some shots and um, obviously Ritter can. Um, you know, DeMarcus Sharp's a good basketball player. I know I said I don't say that a lot, but if I know they're good and I'm not worried about them not being good, I'm going to say they're good. DeMarcus Sharp's a good basketball player. So, um, you know, I think Gage has got enough help. Now, can I get it gelling the right way consistently faster? Because we need to faster. And, that, that, you know, that's a whole other story. But, but we, we, we've got enough guys to be able to have a good product. You bring up uh, the conditioning. Uh, you guys went seven deep uh, for for the first uh, 35 minutes of that game. Just kind of over the thoughts there. Uh, is that to try to get them more conditioned, or is that what you anticipate maybe on a Monday when you're playing a team like Little Rock? Well, right now, I just, you know, I'm just, some of it's conditioning, right? I, I, some of it's conditioning, but but also um, we're, we're comfortable with those seven right now. And uh, you know, our freshmen, they, they have to grow a little bit and they will. I thought, I thought the minutes they got today helped. They both looked a little bit more comfortable today. I, I wouldn't necessarily say I saw deer in headlights tonight. Um, I'm not sure how I would describe it, but it wasn't deer in headlights. The other night was deer in headlights, but, but not just those guys. It was deer in headlights for a lot of people, but, um, we'll continue to try to develop those guys. But, but as of right now, I think until we get those veteran guys back, we're going to be around seven, but I, I think it's just one more game. I mean, I, I think we're going to be able to have those guys come league play. And unfortunately at the moment, we, we don't have an opponent for December 23rd. So, but, but if we get one, then, then, you know, we'll, we'll have to play who we feel like can help us. But uh, I, those guys that played later today, they, they gained some confidence with, with the staff today. And, and that's a good thing. Coach, a bit of a tangent, but I mean, getting a free throw before the ball's even tipped, them not getting the starting lineup in. Have you ever had anything like that happen before? No, I haven't. I have not. Um, you normally put an assistant coach in charge of that and and try to get it in. But, um, you know, I'll take every point we can get. Right? We broke the ice pretty pretty quick there. But, um, you know, that, that, that group, what they're doing, you, you, you have to uh, – you have to tip your hat to them. What, what they're having to do for their program right now in regards to this fundraising tour, what I call it, you, you talk about a rant. I, I, I really have a real rant. You know, these guys are traveling across the country in the middle of a pandemic, having to play all these teams. They played Tulsa last night. They're getting ready to get on the bus, go back to Tulsa so they can fly out. They just drove from Tulsa to play the game today. And then they're going to fly out to go to Gonzaga to play the best team I've ever seen in, in probably in the last 10 years watching college basketball. And I heard they got to play them two times. I mean, to me, and that, that's, that ain't right, you know, and, and I, I don't have any clout in, in this game, but just as a parent, as a human being, that ain't right. But, but, but again, um, maybe they just forgot to put them in there. You know, they got a lot going on. There was that stretch there at the end of the first half where Isaiah was just kind of able to take over there uh, and kind of separated you guys, give you a good lead going into halftime. Um, it, it's, remembering back to last year, he was able to have a lot of those stretches where he was just able to kind of take over. How do you get that more consistent throughout the game? You know, uh, you know he's a really good scorer. So, you know, I don't, I don't know about the – maybe maybe just, you know, continue with his maturity, his development, his practice habits, maybe. But, um, I mean, he's, he's young and he's doing that. I mean, um, you know, a lot of what we do goes through prim. But uh, Mosley's a weapon on that perimeter as well. Um, we know what he's – I know what he's capable of doing. He's capable of putting some, some points on the board for sure. And, and I thought when you looked, at, and he even said it in the huddle, you know, he just felt early on he was just missing his layups. You know, if he makes his layups early on, you know, he's probably got about almost 28 points. So um, he's a good player. He's got some growing to do. He's got some growing to do, but but he's he's made some strides, and and he's going to have to make even more strides uh, considering the role that he has. He, he's got to be a really good player for us. 
And what'd you see in those 15 minutes to where you guys were able to flip the switch there in those last five and really dominate kind of the last 25 minutes of the game? Well, we, we try to emphasize what we call the middle eight, last four minutes of the first half, first four of the second half. And, and I thought our guys have really bought into that. And, and um, you, you do it by, having, by, by getting stops and, and trying to get easy buckets, this team. And um, I thought they caught their second win. I, you know, even the, the beginning, like, like we didn't come out like you normally come out on your home court uh, with the right intensity. But, but when they caught their second wind, they kind of went. And, and uh, you know, uh, uh, the last game we played, I, don't, I, I think, I don't even know if guys ever caught their second wind. But, 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 but today we kind of caught our second wind at the end of that first half. And so may, maybe we're just getting in better shape and um, getting more comfortable in our new roles. Everybody's got a new roles, except for Gage. I mean, Gage was a was a marquee guy last year, but everybody else, it's a new role. And I think they'll get more comfortable each time. Uh, we'll 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 see we'll see what we got on Monday because we we play a really really good team on Monday. Yeah, Coach, you, you mentioned that. I mean, is a quick turnaround to your last uh, non conference game? Just kind of what's the focus? What's the preparation look like uh, for this before you got you and I after that? Well, when, when, when we had to deal with the COVID shutdown, you know, we had to accept the fact that we were going to lose a lot of practice time and, and, and in order to get games in, which is the most important thing for us, we knew that we were going to have some quick turnarounds and not a lot of practice. And, you know, we, we kind of compared it to an NBA, right? Where in NBA, you play three games every practice. In college, you practice three days every game. So we've had to kind of flip that a little bit. We'll get together tomorrow to do some mental preparation. But, but, but we'll have to get out there and play um, against a really good team, you know, without taking our guys through the ringers tomorrow. Uh, Jamonte Black played 35 minutes tonight. He's the only guy, I think, over 30. And we probably should have got him out of there a tad sooner. But um, wanted him to get, try to get up a couple more shots to, to, to stay in his rhythm. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll see what we can do. I mean, hey, these kids are 18 to 22. Um, they should be in good enough shape to lay it on the line. You know, they don't have to pay for their school. They just they lay it on the line. It's the least they can do, right?